Yo, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, friends and all? This is DJ Icon and we're getting ready to go back out to the Augusta National uh, Practice Facility using our own um, personal player that we, we, we should be using with all the time. Um, we are going to put some wind on for this, this match. What we're going to do in this video is we're going to work on our approach shots from um, more than, I would like to say, more than more than 120 yards to probably like 180 yards with wind. Um, anybody can hit an accurate shot from 150 yards with no wind with easy conditions. But what we want to do is we want to learn how to play our best. Um, and the only way to play our best is if we practice in a more turbulent of... Um, circumstances we're going to go to the practice tee and when we first get out there what you're going to notice is, is that i've adjusted the wind um to be a little breezier right so now what we have to do and this is this is something that happens when we play in tournament live tournaments on tiger woods pga tour 14 is that we we get in these situations where we don't really know how to um shape our shot well enough um to get it up here to the pin pin okay so it's the same situation man you always want to look and see what it's doing on the green first Right, and from what from the vertical from with the with the green is center and vertical depth is that the ball is going to roll right off the green if we don't hit it hard enough downward, and it's going with a, a looks like a right to left break. Okay, so um, and then the wind, if you look up there on your upper right, it's playing to our left, and it's a substantial enough wind to actually carry the carry the ball far to our left. Okay, so that's a lot to encompass if you really think about it. Okay, so where, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you the way I personally would play it and then how some different techniques and strategies to play the ball likewise. Okay, so what I like to do is I like to hit the ball back into the wind. Okay, so I use the right stick and I go right. Okay, just like that, like you see. So that basically what the ball is going to do is it's going to jump out there and the wind's going to catch it and drive it and pick it up. Okay, this works sometimes and sometimes it doesn't. Okay, so let's see what how, 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 how it works. There's the ball. It's up there in the wind. Put a little bit of spin so we can spin it right back to the pin. Get up there as close as possible. And there you go. Straight on there. That's a hard shot to play. I wouldn't recommend you trying to play it. Just because I play, I play a power fade. I play a power fade. I hit these fades all the time. It's like Phil Mickelson trying to hit a, a power fade as a lefty. He couldn't do it because that's a draw for him. But because my player is a right-handed player, he plays similar to Tiger Woods, a power fade in this circumstance would be the business. Okay? Um, another way of uh, playing this shot would be, hey, we're not going to put any fade on it. We're just going to play it back to our right. And this is something that people do all the time. And we're going we're gonna to watch and see what happens. We adjust the ball right. And look at it. it. It doesn't really affect it much. It throws it off a tad bit to our, our, our left. But the reason I don't play that shot is because what's going on is, is that when you just adjust it left to right, okay, basically what we're doing is we're saying, when take my ball. And what it, what, it, what it ends up doing is it ends up doing this kind of technique where it starts right and then comes back left. And that's hard to spin. It's hard, then it's hard to spin the ball back to our right to get it back to the pin. Okay, so we're gonna show you. So we're gonna hit that same shot. We're gonna just play it to our right, let the wind pick it, but then we're gonna spin it back to our right. We're gonna start spinning it tough, real hard, real tough, real tough, real tough. You see how many times you gotta punch that ball, right? And hey, there, that's a good shot. That's a good shot. But nine times out of 10, you're not going to be able to play that ball as accurately unless you jump on it and start spinning it straight off the off wop. Okay? So, again, the, the a couple of shots that you could play. You could play the fade, the power fade, where you just say, okay, I'm going to play it back to the right real tough. And this what this does is it basically lets you line the ball straight so it goes plays back into the wind straight. Right, so when we hit the ball, straight up and down, put a little bit of wind to see if we can make it a pin seeker. It starts off a tad bit too much to the right, takes a kick, and hey, I play this shot every day. I got lucky, okay? Um, let's change our target. Uh, let's go here. Okay, so we'll go here. Um, we'll also change the T. Okay, 
This is simple enough. It's only 90, I want to say it's only like 90 yards to the pin. The wind is out of play when it's 90 yards to the pin. Sometimes it could pick it up. Um, the ball's coming back toward us as far as like uh, the length, right? And then it looks like it's going with a right to left break. It's kind of missed and meshed in there. I just try to play it as close as I can. When you hit the ball, what do we get? A pin seeker straight, play it back a little bit. You don't want to put too much backspin on it because if you put a lot of backspin because it's coming back toward us, it's going to roll right off that green. Okay, so let's try that one more time. Okay, um, and if you're one of them, them people that say, hey, this is the wind is still drastically ridiculous, right? Okay. You know, matter of fact, let's see if I can change the target. Uh, okay, right here. Right, this is a good case in point. 158 yards, 150 somewhere in there. Okay, at this distance, with it, with the wind going eight miles per hour up. Okay, up to our like a left, left, like a northwest kind of breeze or something like that. This ball is going to get out of our hands. So a lot of times what I do is I like to go down one. But the problem you run into with these wedges, the gap wedges and approach wedges, is that it puts a lot of loft on the ball. So uh, with the way that the green is shaping up right now, we can see that it's coming back toward us. So I wouldn't necessarily play this pitching wedge. I wouldn't play the pitching wedge because it puts so much loft on the ball and it's going to land so far low on the green that you're not even going to be able to spin it up. So what you got to do is you got to say, okay, you got to play what I call a tad bit more aggressive. And this is a, a, a tough, and this is something that most people won't do, but this is something I do. Okay, I'll bring it here and I'll play it below because I'm using a nine iron, which is a little straighter of a shot, doesn't add too much loft, right? And I play the, the power fade again. Let's see how this one ends up. There you go. This is that's as good as a shot as you're going to be able to hit in this circumstance and you clubbed up, right? So if you think mathematics and you say, okay, one plus one is two, what we're going to do is we're going to say, no, I want you to create your own type of math. I want you to say, okay, I'm going to play a nine iron, right? Which caps out all the way up here. Okay. Even with the wind plan to our left, we're going to just take all the power off of it, basically making it that pitching wedge okay or subsequently that 52 degree pitching wedge okay and that's the difference because even if you add power to this because it's so much loft even with the pitching wedge, because it's so much loft the wind's going to catch it and it's going to drop it low of the pin so what we're going to do is we're going to club up we're going to get a club that has less loft we're going to add a power fade to it with the right stick okay so that is it's fading back into the wind Basically saying, you know, my ball has a lot more muscle in it and it's the wind. We're not going to let the wind affect us. Okay. We're going to play it one more time. What do we get? Pin seeker. Pin seeker. You can hold this. This is holdable if you work on it. You, you work on it. It's holdable. You can spin it back, but you don't want to put too much spin on it. All right. Now I'm going to show you what the amateur does. This is what the amateur does. Amateur takes that pitching wedge. They add that to it. Okay. They play it to our right. They hit the shit out of it. Hey, and, and there you go. You know, it's it's above the pin. It's left of the pin. And you know what? That's not a hard putt, but it's not the easiest putt in the world either. Okay? So, again, what we want to always try to do is we always want to try and do what's best for our game. In this situation, this is a tough one. The wind going to our left. Right, we're looking at it. We got the 52 degree again because we're 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 starting off. We're, we're basically going aiming down towards the pin. I wouldn't recommend the 52. I wouldn't recommend the 52 because when you when you when you play this shot, even with you plan it right, right. What it does is it adds so much loft to the ball, right? When it you see it falls below and off the green. So this is what I recommend doing. I would personally say, okay, I'm gonna take that pitching wedge. I'm going to take the pitching wedge. I'm going to take some power off of it. I'm going to fade it so that it lands on the green. Don't worry about the trees because we're right of it. We're planted right of the right of the tree, right? So when we play the ball, what do we get? Add some spin to it and you should be all right. You can hold this. That's a holdable shot right there, ladies and gentlemen. All right? That's a holdable shot and this is playing more strategic, okay? Because a lot of people what a lot of people do is say, "Okay, hey, I'm going to play it here. 
I'm gonna do this right here. You know, a lot of people just say, you know what, I'm gonna, this is what the amateur does. A lot of people say, okay, uh, look, this is easy enough. Easy enough, it's not that far, I'm gonna hit it straight. When you hit it straight, what happens? Off the green, not close, okay? So again, people, defy gravity. Go with a fade, I use a power fade all the time. If you use a draw, you can use a draw, but the wind would have to be going the opposite direction. At 10 miles per hour, that's enough wind to completely mess up your shot. Okay, so play that, you know, take some power off of that pitching wedge so that you're not over hitting the green, okay? And when you do that, this is what you get. An accurate shot on every time. And we're doing this at Augusta. This is a harder course to shape your shots at, okay? Hey, this has been DJ Icon, and we've just showed you how to play more accurate approach shots while always making sure that you use the up down feature right if you're seeing red in your swing right if you're seeing red you're not hitting the ball straight right if it's if it's coming out like that if it's coming out like that if it's if, if, if it's any kind of um rumbling vibrating or anything like that that's a bad shot so make sure you always are going down up down up all all the shots that i teach you how to play center around hitting the ball accurately you gotta go down up down up down up keep practicing that keep practicing that right so that when you when you get to the when you get to when you get to hitting the ball and you want to do something like that hey the ball's going to come out accurate every time you add a little bit of spin you can hold the ball you can hold the ball you can bring it back and that's how you play tiger woods pga tour 14 this has been dj icon i'm here to help you thank you